ChatGPT and other recent language models are revolutionary technologies, and I am sure you have already heard a lot about them. But as with any other revolutionary technology, it's not that obvious how to explain it to other people. After all, a modern chatbot is only a computer program that can talk. What is so special about it? The most common misconception is to treat it as some kind of a genie in a bottle that can provide the answer to every question or write a school assignment for us. There is definitely much more we can do with it. In this and future videos I would like to show you some practical activities that you can do in the classroom with your students in primary school or high school to give them a better understanding of why a modern chatbot is much more than a talking Wikipedia. First thing first, as for the chatbot itself, I suggest not using the most popular chat GPT as it very often has downtimes due to high demand and the free version has limited number of questions you can ask at a time. Instead, I suggest switching to Bing Chat, which is a part of a Bing search engine by Microsoft and you need Microsoft Edge browser to use it, but Bing Chat uses the same language model as ChatGPT, so it's also almost the same quality. Uh, it's very reliable, it works most of the time, and, um, and it's free, and it most probably will remain free. So it's the most reliable solution to use in the classroom with your student. Of course, uh, the activities I am about to show you are universal, so you can use any chatbot to perform them. Activity number one, uh, playing games, word games, as we uh, play games by talking with a chatbot, so is, these are word games. We use Bing Chat, I suggest switching it to the creative mode, uh, then it becomes more funny and more engaging. We don't need to be very precise and formal. And uh, the simplest game we could play with it is um, guessing guessing things like, with the answer yes and no only. Uh, so um, let's do it this way. Let's play a game. You think of an animal and I have to guess it. You only answer yes or no. I have 10 questions. Okay, let's play a game. I have thought of an animal and you have to guess it. You can ask me up to 10 questions that I can answer yes or no. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. So, uh, is this a mammal? Yes, it's a mammal. You have nine questions left. Okay. Is it domesticated? No, it's not domesticated. You have eight questions left. If it's a mammal, it doesn't fly, so does it, does it eat meat? Yes, it does it meat. It's a carnivore. Uh, you have seven questions left. Is it bigger than a dog? Yes, it's bigger than a dog. Okay, so it's a big mammal living in the wild. Um, does it live in Europe? No, it does not live in Europe. Big mammal that doesn't live in Europe. Um, and it eats meat. No ideas. Is it a type of cat? Yes, it's a type of cat. You have not four questions left. Okay, so we're getting closer. Is it a lion? No, it's not a lion. Uh, hmm. Does it live in uh, Africa? Yes, it does live in Africa. Is it a tiger? But tigers live in Asia. So if it is not a lion, maybe a cheetah. Two questions. No, it's not a tiger. So my last question. A big cat that lives in Africa. 
Is it a cheetah? But cheetah is, is it a bigger than a dog? Maybe yes. Yes, it's a cheetah. Oh, I guessed in my last question. Okay. Do you want to play again? If so, you can think of an animal and I will try to guess. Yes. Let's switch roles. I think of an animal and you ask me questions. Okay, let's switch role. Blah, 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 blah. Let me start with the first question. Is the animal a mammal? Oh, yes. Okay, the animal is a mammal. Let me ask the second question. Is the animal domesticated? Yes. Is the animal bigger than a cat? Yes. Okay, the animal is a mammal domesticated and bigger than a cat. Let me ask the fourth question. Does the animal have hooves? Ooh, what are hooves? <laughs> okay, I had to check it in the translator. And uh, no, it does not have hooves. Okay, this is a muggle, mammal bigger than a cat, but does not have hooves. The fifth question, does the animal have four? Yes. Does the animal bark? Yes, it barks from time to time. This is easy, man. Is the animal a dog? Yes, it is a dog. Yes, the animal is a dog. I guessed it right. Hooray, you picked a very common and popular animal. Dogs are loyal, friendly and smart. They can be blah, blah, blah. And so he tells me what a dog is right now. But you can see that uh, this, very, this game is very simple, but gives us very nice feeling about the reasoning capabilities of this, uh, this chatbot. He, uh, he can talk with us in a uh, normal, normal way. We can ask him uh, to, to perform a certain action like uh, playing a game, keeping a secret for us and answering questions. And then again, we can switch the roles where he asks questions to us and he is able to guess what we have on our mind. So uh, he must do quite a lot of processing beneath this, this whole process to figure it out that I was thinking of a dog. Okay. Activity number two, role playing. Uh, chatbots are great to pretend someone uh, is it a fictional character or uh, someone from a book, from a movie, or uh, maybe some historical character. Uh, for security reasons, probably they are uh, hesitant to pretend to be living people uh, that still that are still alive, and they do not want to pretend to be. Um, real uh, still living people but they are great in role playing of uh, fictional characters so let's try something like this let's role play pretend that you are king arthur and i interview you Searching for King Arthur. All right, let's role play. I'll, I will pretend that I am King Arthur, the legendary ruler of Britain who fought against Saxons and established a vast empire. Please note that I am basing my answers on the information I found from the web. Okay. Hey, King. What's up? Greetings, I am King Arthur, son of Uther Pendragon, and the rightful heir to the throne of Britain. I am doing well, thank you for asking. I am cur currently residing in Camelot. What would you like to know about me and my legend? Well, I would like to know what was your breakfast today? Searching for a medieval breakfast. As a king, I do not have to follow the strict rules of fasting that the church imposes on the common people. I usually have breakfast and bread, cheese, egg and bacon accompanied blah, 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 by wine and ale. Sometimes I also enjoyed some fish, especially salmon or herring. 
According to some resources, breakfast was not a common meal in the medieval times. Okay, so we see that the chatbot f a little bit fell out of role. Uh, he gave us the first part of the answer as the, as the King Arthur would say it, but the second one was a bit of a, an explanation. And it happens quite often that over the time in the discussion he starts to lose the context, he starts to behave more like an, a Wikipedia, like a talking machine, not, not the character that we intended him to, to play. So to keep role-playing with a chatbot more engaging, it's important to uh, give him much clearer and fuller um, explanation and instruction how sh he uh, should behave. Let's start the role play again. Let's play role play. You are King Arthur and I interview you. Answer in a very royal manner with a language stylized to your times keep the answers short be impatient because I waste your prayer Shows King's time. Okay, let's try it that way. So I gave him some more instruction about the way how he should behave in this conversation. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Very well, I shall indulge your curiosity for a brief moment, but do not expect me to be cautious, for you are interrupting my kingly duties. Ask your questions and be quick. Some possible questions and answers are... <laughs> so, he gives... He was supposed to give uh, short answers, but he gives me an FAQ. Okay, I, not, I do not need this FAQ. Uh, let's see how it goes. Um, how are you? King. <laughs> I am well, thank you for asking, but do not... But I do not have the time to idle chatter. I have a kingdom to rule and a quest to fulfill. If you have something important to say, say it now, otherwise leave me be. Um, what are your duties? My duties as king are manifold and arduous. Woo. I don't know what it means. I have to oversee the administration of justice, the collection of taxes, the defense of borders, the maintenance of the roads, the promotion of the trade. No, 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 no. I do not take them lightly, nor do so I shrink them. I am a king and I must act like one. Okay, one more question. Uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Free time, what is it? What is that? I hardly have any time to spare, for I am always busy with my kingly duties. But when I do have a moment of leisure, I like to enjoy the company of my wife and my knights and to listen to the tales of adventures and romance that the bards sing. Okay, and so on and so on. You see that by adding some more... Okay, so you can see that by adding some more guidance and uh, specific things that uh, the chatbot should perform in this conversation it becomes much more engaging and colorful he is uh, m much better written and i think that it might be a very nice and new alternative to interact with the literature with books with uh, fictional characters we all know uh, not by writing essays about them but by interviewing them and talking with them activity number three this is a crazy one, it's image generation. Uh, you might have already seen the possibilities of generative in 
artificial intelligence to generate images and uh, maybe you've used this kind of software before but uh, it is also integrated into the chatbot itself so uh, we can generate the image within the chatbot interface and this is crazy really like we can uh, literally tell him what to generate and he'll do this for us let's start with um, the basic role playing as before let's role play you are a blue dinosaur you are a bit scary but also funny answer like a dinosaur with simple and raw language keep your answers short me blue dinosaur me roar <laughs> me scary but funny me like role play you human your friend or food <laughs> okay i'm not food i'm not food not food not food uh, i would like to see how you look like can you show me and look now this is great me try to create that me show you how me look like and now the chatbot starts to generate the image for us you see that we we uh, we made it a part of a conversation, we didn't ask him formally what to do, but in a very uh, normal, regular manner as if, as if we would be talking to a normal person, normal human, we just ask him to, to show us an image and he generates an image of a blue dinosaur for us. Um, these images are based on DALI 3, DALI 2, DALI 2. Uh, image generation uh, model. You see that they are very, very nice in um, in quality. And in fact, yes, it is a b blue dinosaur. So let's go on with it. Great. Uh, you look a bit scary. Tell me, what do you like? to do in your free time. Me like to do many things. Me like to eat meat, me like to play with other dinosaurs, me like to sleep under big tree, me like to make funny noises, me like to have fun, you like to do some things. I would like to see you sleep under the tree. Can you show me? So our language also can be very raw and simple. Uh, it doesn't have to be sophisticated and the dinosaur will understand us and the chatbot will understand us. That is, this is something amazing. And we have an image of the dinosaur. You see that the tone of the image changed a bit. The first one was uh, kind of a photorealistic. The second one are more like a, a children book. Uh, picture. Um, maybe it's because of this topic uh, that the dinosaur is sleeping under a tree uh, is more commonly used in this um, children's stories manner so this image is uh, more in that um, style but still it's very good quality, it's exactly what we wanted to see. We have a blue dinosaur, it's under a tree, the picture is quite nice, uh, so very useful. You can of course download it and use it for whatever we want. Uh, but let's make something out of it uh, a bit further. Very nice! I would like to have this image as a sticker. Could you design it for me? Could you design a sticker for me? 
Mr. Blue Dinosaur. Me glad you like image. Me can design, design sticker for you. Me use my own words and knowledge. Me make sticker look good. <laughs> me show you sticker soon. Me hope you enjoy the sticker. Okay, let's see. Oh. He stopped answering and didn't start to generate the image. Let's, uh, let's try again. Please. Generate sticker. This sticker image for me. Me design this sticker image for you. And we have uh, the design of our sticker. You see, uh, it's it is what we wanted it to be. So it's a blue dinosaur under the tree. It has this drop shadow effect, uh, so so we can know that it's supposed to be a sticker design and might be uh, might be quite nice we can still ask him to process it uh, furthermore like for example i need it in black and white can you fix it me sorry for mistake no need to be sorry it's not a mistake me fix image for you Let's see. Okay, so we have the uh, st sticker uh, in black and white. Still, the dinosaur is uh, still blue, uh, and we could uh, process it mo more to, to to achieve the effect we, we need. But uh, I think you can see the pattern by now that it's, in my opinion, it's something almost magical. It's like technology from the future where you just uh, you just chat. You just talk with a with a chatbot like a regular person, and he he is a graphic designer for us. He does all the thing. He get, he generates the image uh, of a dinosaur. Uh, he can make it in. He can switch the situation uh, situations in which the dinos dinosaur is shown. Uh, he can change the style of the image, uh, and he can uh, process uh, do some graphical process. On, upon the image so it's it's like a talking Photoshop so as you can see this tool is almost magical and very powerful and we can do crazy things with it